Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've been contacted in different means on how to set up a bucket and or spigot server on MinOS. Now, spigot is supported here. However, I have never been able to actually get this method to work. So, we're actually going to set up a bucket. Now, I know that there are somebody out there that says spigot and bucket are very, very different and that is probably true however i can't really seem to see a big difference between them but this method will work regardless both ways so first off we're since we're going to be doing bucket you need to go get the bucket craft bucket jar head over to this address and you'll be able to download it once you have it downloaded go ahead and put it on your desktop or in a directory of your choosing I happen to put mine on my desktop inside of something called Bucket. Do not run this once you've downloaded it. Let the server run it. Let MineOS run it first. So after you've done that, go back to MineOS. Go to Create Server and name your server. Set your difficulty and game mode however you see fit. Then you'll create new. Then go to the server, go ahead and set up however much RAM you want. In this case, I'm gonna be doing four gig of RAM, just for testing. From here, pause, don't do anything yet. Then from there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to open up a FTP client so you can transfer the files to the server. Log into your FTP client but log into it using root. This will allow you to have full root access during this process. Once you're there, browse to ver, games, Minecraft, and servers. You'll see that the bucket has already been made. That bucket has already been made. From there, you're going to upload your jar file that you had downloaded. Simply right click, upload. Once it is uploaded, minimize this. Then go back to MineOS. From here, refresh your page. Go to Craft Bucket, Server, or whatever you have. Then select Craft Bucket that you just uploaded. And start the server. This will take a little bit of time. I will not break away to show you how long it does. Feel free to fast forward when it's done. If you want, you can continue to refresh this page. And once you see logs pop up here, you'll know that you're going in the right direction. There we go, logs in the right direction. And this is what we're waiting for. We need Mine, you need to accept the end user license agreement to continue. Go ahead and accept and start. Give this just another moment. If you want, you can go here and keep refreshing. As the server starts, it'll start populating this with more files. It might appear that the server is going to freeze, but I trust that it won't. It will not freeze, it'll just look like it for just a moment, so just hang tight, guys. almost done and there we are now if you want to use it just as is you could go back over to your Minecraft and simply log in you know join the world and now you're playing Minecraft but I know that there's plenty of people saying what about plugins? How do you upload plugins to this? Well, you would upload plugins the same way that you would upload uh, mods, like in Forge. So, let's upload some plugins. Go ahead and disconnect from your server, 
you're going to need to come over and actually kill. So once this is done, once you've left, come over and kill. Otherwise, the server will freeze for whatever reason and not work. It, it, it won't stop for whatever reason. Anyway, just wait for this to get done. But while we're doing this, while that is, while that's happening, let's go back over to our view plugins. We're going to be using these plugins and upload. Since the server started once, we actually have a new folder called plugins. Go ahead and open that and we'll right click and upload. Uh, kill has failed. Kill. I need to turn off. There it is. Now it's stopping. Since this is a unconventional Minecraft server, it's it gets confused a little bit on it's starting and stopping. I'm just gonna let this go for just a minute or two. Come on, still failed. Refresh the page. There it is. Up, oh, up, oh, down, it comes back up. Stop. Stop the server. Ran into this problem last time. For some reason it gets a little finicky when you try and stop it right after you started it. Refresh. And you can just try to restart it saying that uh, stop has failed. Alright. Hmm. I know I said I wasn't going to cut away, but we're going to cut away when this thing finally stops, and then we'll start it back up. Alright, for some odd reason the server decided it was going to lock up for whatever reason and I just rebooted the computer and uh, seems to be working now. So anyway, let's just double check and make sure that everything got uploaded correctly. Back in games, Minecraft, Bucket, and there's your plugins. Okay, so once we're there, make sure you select Craft Bucket and we're going to start. Don't change it to anything here. Make sure that you don't select this. Um, it can cause issues. I am also using a older version of mine OS and I haven't updated it lately. So maybe that had something to do with uh, error that happened before. Anyway, let's go ahead and start it. As usual, it'll take just a moment. Just a minute to catch up with itself. There it is. Now it's running. There we go. Those plugins are loading. is going to take just a little bit longer than before so just hold tight and there we are now we're done now we can log right back in and now we're playing. Now unfortunately I don't really know these commands for those plugins but those plugins were confirmed to be uploaded and worked. 
So, with that said, if someone wants a strange Minecraft server set up, I can see if I can get it set up and then either walk you through how to do it, make a video, or just simply give you the server files. Uh, that way, you have a turnkey solution if you really want it. Anyway, so short video, that's pretty much how you get the bucket up and running on Mino S. Now you can use the same way to upload your own server. So if you made a server outside of Mino S and you wanted to upload it, all you'd need to do is do the same thing. So you can actually uh, make, uh, create a new server, you know, and name it, you know, whatever you want. And then once that's created, it'll come down here to bucket or whatever you named it, and then you can just simply upload those files. So uh, in the way of Forge, where it has mods, you simply would replace you know, plugins with mods and then upload those mods directly into that folder, restart your server, and now everything seems to be running just fine. Um, and then uh, you make sure that your clients all have the same information. So anyway, that's how you do that. I've, I, I also have been uh, asked how you get mods into the server, and that's how you would also get mods into the server. But yeah, plugins and mods, exact same way. You're just going to use a file transfer protocol or an FTP client to uh, upload those, uh, those folders and files to the server, and then you just restart that server and then you're off to the races. Anyway, short video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Um, if you have uh, some creative ideas, hit me down in the comments. I got a Discord, I'll put that down there. It's called The Basement Hangout. Um, anyway, we'll see you around.